barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So my prediction for Badu Jack James Nigel goes as such. I'm just going to make this short and sweet. I think Badu Jack, I'm watching this Atlanta game, and it reminded me of it. Badu Jack is like the Seattle Seahawks offense. Pretty bland, pretty vanilla. Everything is play action pass. Uh, drop back game is nothing. He always got to scramble to make a play. Um, you know, um, he doesn't have his guy in the corner. Not Mus is it Mustafa Muhammad? Mustafa, yeah, not, Mustafa Muhammad is not in his corner this fight. Um, there's something. Hey, let me tell you this too. I see it, and uh, um, there's something about that religious connection when the trainer has with the fighter. You know, uh, Badu Jack is Muslim, and and so is Nassim Richardson. I think that was not Nassim Richardson, Mustafa Muhammad. I always get them guys confused just by the name, not by face. And I I, I think there's a chemistry that may be missing. And listen to what I'm saying. It may be too much Floyd Mayweather into Badu Jack now. You know what I mean? He he gave James Nigel Tiara. I, I, that's out of character for him. So with that being said. James Nigel is like the Atlanta offense. So we got offenses against offense. A little bit more dexterity, a little bit more looks better, feels better, scores more points, creates better angles, better feet. You know, so I just see James Nigel just pulling away rounds nine through twelve. I I don't see it. I don't see a knockout in this fight. Both guys are exceptionally durable. Uh, I just hope James Nigel don't settle on being a counterpuncher. That's the problem that we may have. If James Nigel settles on being a counterpuncher and and want and want to be first, it's a really good fight for James Nigel. But sometimes he'll dance around and uh, allow himself to just counterpunch and you know uh, lull himself to sleep. So that's who I got winning the fight. I got James Nigel by I would say majority decision because split decision because it's a Mayweather Promotions event. And, you know, uh, those judges are human. And Floyd Mayweather's walking around with a $3 million necklace on. And uh, it, it's his show. So barbershop conversation. That's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think. I'm truly interested. And uh, uh, we'll see. So barbershop conversations. Feel free to subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I already know what it is. It's barbershop conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today.